there are multiple ways to create Power Apps and the data source that's associated with Power Apps. We have the data verse here, which we can use as a data source, which gives us many features. And we can also use Teams. And today we're gonna to talk about how to build and why you should build some of your applications within the Teams environment using the Dataverse. So stay tuned, we're gonna jump right to it. So why would we use Teams for the Dataverse? Well, the biggest reason is when you're building applications and you're finding that you need to go into a Dataverse environment, perhaps you need a relational uh, structure, perhaps you need just more of a database instead of a list or a spreadsheet, you're gonna to go to the Dataverse. Now, if you use Dataverse just as it is, there is a special fee that you get to pay uh, to use the Dataverse when using it here within Power, Op Power Apps, and it's part of the premium package. Now, if you wanna still use the Dataverse, they do have the option for you to use it inside of Teams, and I'm not gonna go over the differences between the two, just look it up, difference between Dataverse and Teams Dataverse, and you'll find some additional information. But today, we're gonna to go through how to actually create a table within the Dataverse and create an app for that table. So let's jump right to it. First thing I wanna do is create, go down a team. Now I can build these apps specific to a channel itself. So I've just taken personal here, said general here. Now I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna look for power apps. Now I can of course search for it. And there it is right there. So I can click on it and say, add it. It's gonna add it to my environment and it's gonna immediately ask me for a name. So I'm just gonna name the app and I'm just gonna hit save. Now, for those of you that have been using power apps, some of the commands are a little bit different. So I'm gonna have some other videos that you can view on some of those differences. But today we're just gonna create just the basic information right now. Now we're right here inside of Power Apps within Teams. Notice it looks almost exactly the same. Now I do get this problem on occasion, so um, you just kind of have to work with it, right? Uh, it's not perfect, but here it comes back again. So <laughs> we can just go ahead and load it up. And now we're going to go ahead and we're just going to name. Let's see if it. Let's see if it saved it for us. We're gonna go ahead and create a data source. Let's just say number two and save. And I have found that the Teams version of Power App sometimes can be a little buggy sometimes. But here, let's go ahead and create a new table for this since that's what the purpose of this video is. So to create this table here, we're gonna go right here. We went over here to the data and we're gonna hit create new table. Now, if you have a table already created, you can take a look at that. You can also look into different connectors that are available as data sources. But today, we're just gonna create a new table. And here, we wanna create this table as um, new app data. Okay, and then we're gonna hit go. If you hit advance, it's just a plural name. We're, we're not gonna talk about that today. We're just gonna go ahead and create uh, this table. Now this sometimes takes a few minutes, but it's pretty fast. Here, now this is going to be a little different for for some of you. So just keep, this is pretty easy once you've done it once. So here's your first one name, which is the default. Now inside of a list, for example, it's called title, right? So just a little bit different, but we're just going to leave it name. And here, when we go down here, notice that it's a text field, and we're going to give, we're just going to leave it at 100. But I wanted to show you that that's there when we add new columns. So here we're going to go ahead and hit go, and here we're just going to put in a number, okay? And when we go down to type here, notice we have lots of different things that we can number it. We're just going to give it number, excuse me, that we can give to the uh, column, but we're just gonna say that it's a number. Again, we can put minimum and maximum. We're just gonna say create. You can go on down the road, it's pretty easy. When you wanna put data inside of it, you're just gonna click in here and you're just gonna put name, Joe Snuffy. 
Oops, Sniffy. <laughs> okay, and the number of Joe Snuffy is 8675309. Okay, and that's about it. And then we're going to just hit close. All right, so now we have those two fields. So we're cooking, right? Now, different than in Power Apps where you have the insert up here, insert is here, is we're going to add a gallery. Now, it's a little bit different. We're seeing it a little differently. Here's the name of our app, by the way. And but we're just going to say a gallery here. We could also do a display. Um, let me see, where's uh, right here, input. So everything that you work with right now, layout, everything you work with right now inside of Power Apps is inside here as well. It's just a little bit different. So here, we're going to just add it to this new app data. And we're going to put that information in there. Now notice here, we have Joe Snuffy. If we go down here, it's looking for title and subtitle. We're just going to go to blank. Okay. Now this is, should look familiar for anybody who's developed within Power Apps. This is pretty easy. Just go ahead and click on there. I'm sorry. Click on there or there. It doesn't matter. And here we're going to, instead of our stuff being up here, you just have to kind of be aware that it's all down here. So I want to put a text box in there, for example. So I'm going to say input text box. There it is right there. Okay. And then for the value, um, I'm going to go ahead and hit, um, I'm sorry, values, right? So this would be item uh, inside of Power Apps. But here I'm just going to say, uh, this, whoops, this, whoops, this item dot name. Okay. And then, so that's, that's our gallery. It's going to show up. This is a horizontal gallery. So it's going this way. You can see here, I can erase that, change it, do whatever I want. Just like I do, um, just like I do within Power Apps proper. Okay. I can uh, then add another one so the way we did that remember we can go over here to our gallery right it's the same way that you're doing it now here i'm going to insert a um let's just say here uh display I, i'm sorry i don't know what to, to input here let's just input a we'll just say another text box this <laughs> one all right and here again, we're going to put in this item dot and we're going to put number. Okay. Good. Now there's the number. And again, we can go up here. We can change this. We can do whatever we want. So the app itself, pretty standard, nothing real different about the way we do it. Um, you adjust everything the same, but you notice here, that it's a little bit, things are a little bit different. It says value here, doesn't say items. Inside of Power Apps, if you were to modify this, it's gonna say items where you put in this information. So there's just a few things, little nuances. So just kind of be creative, think about it. Again, multi-line, we can do that, right? It'll, it'll format the text for us, things of that nature. So, and you can adjust everything just the way you do here and you can pull open everything here. So let's just say this is dandy. We're gonna save this, okay? And then we're gonna publish this to Teams. So we're just gonna hit publish. We're just gonna say name to name app to, and we're gonna hit next. Now we could have edit details. We could have done all those other things, but we're just gonna, just just as a simple, we're gonna, we're gonna do it right just like this, okay? And we're gonna say, add this to a tab, okay? Names to, good. Name to app. So we're just going to hit close. Remember, we hit the little button right there, the plus sign, and then we hit save and close. And now we're going to go ahead and go out of this application. Um, and to do that, uh, we can go. I just forgot how to do that. Well, we can hit home, but I think the app is still open. But let's go ahead and take a look and see where that app is and what it looks like in our Teams environment, real quick. So when we go back to Teams itself, let's go to Teams. There's name app two. And when you pull open name app two, um, the data will load here. It just takes a minute. There's Joe Snuffy. Now, if it was something we were editing, we could do that. We didn't put a save or anything like that, but you can see it's pretty simple, pretty clean. I could put, put a title on here or not. I could just keep it like that. And next time I wanna go back in there, 
I can just go over here to Power Apps again. If I go to, you can see it right here, right? And notice here it says, um, where is it? Build. It might be easier to look at. Notice here I can do it based on the, um, uh, the section, the team within Teams. But here you can see the Canvas app, right? New app data. That's the table. And here are the two apps that I created. Remember, this is the one that kind of froze up on us. You can also go back in and edit your table directly if you want here and go directly in and add data into there so we can uh, have Joe Snuffy. Now, this gets confusing for some people here when they come back into here. Don't be confused by it. It's, it's not that big of a deal. Um, just go right in here to edit data and it's gonna show you those columns again. You can put in more data. Of course, you can add data uh, through the app as well that you develop.